Welcome back guys and I'm hoping that I'll be making videos uh, much more often now that they promised a lot of new stuff in this month of March we are going to get uh, SBCs back uh, squad building challenges those who have been playing uh, since season 2 would know it used to be a huge hit and that could actually revive the market as well and then there are uh, more stuff like icons and prime icons and uh, this and once the carnival end there is a ufa champions league uh, event as well the new player of the month should come soon so a lot of new stuff and i'm excited for that and of course uh, we got new packs as well uh, the chemistry is going up to 270 so it's time for some squad upgrades as well i guess because i mean we all have to plan unless you're not playing versus attack matches and all you have to go for the 270 chem team which means we have to remove the older cards with 15 chemistry and all and add the newer cards with 21 or 23 chemistry and all a new a lot of new cards are coming as well and icons coming that's going to help uh, a lot as well this team this team i made so that this is a team of all 90 plus overalls with four German players in the right side Werner, Havertz, Ozil and Brandt uh, the four German players that were playing that Carnival German matches of course I went for Sule I thought I would use a 97 right at defender but now uh, with this uh, now with this uh, it seems difficult right now because I mean the card looks really good, uh, really solid, the height and the marking stats and all that. Uh, he looks really solid and I wanted to use him in my team. I mean, uh, that marking, that heading, strength, aggression, uh, with that uh, 6 feet 5 inches height uh, should have been good. But now I'm not sure if I can uh, add him in my lineup because the chemistry is going to be 270, which means I have to do a lot more now so we will be uh, making that later but now we are going to play this one final match against the 120 overall uh, Bayern Munich squad and uh, misplaced pass normally I always score the goal there but this time the pass was misplaced and Okay, second time again they have retrieved the ball okay free kick for them I really hate to play to the extra time and all normally I always win in uh, first time normally we score the first goal from that kickoff itself don't know what happened this time around the pass was too weak and it was intercepted I guess here we go here we go here we go okay still missed okay okay Ronaldo gets the header in I mean it's normally very easy uh, it's, a, it's a shame to take it to extra time but uh, it happens sometimes I guess yes uh, goes into extra time there's a wasted of time of course uh, but yeah this is the last time I have to play these matches okay because it's uh, it's almost over with this match I will get the required points for uh, claiming the player and after that once I get the 97 I will just uh, claim rest for like skill boosts and uh, for that we don't have to play the regional matches there are a lot of nice cards and towards the end of the event I'm even expecting uh, the cards to the play prices to be uh, become even lower some of these cards may be good rentals in my opinion okay so we score one more like uh, ok 
Okay, that Aguero looks good, but yeah, finishing boost. I would prefer a boost like a second striker. The likes of Martial looks good. And for head-to-head -head mode, that, uh, that uh, Spanish striker Inaki Williams looks good as well. That Adama Travor looks amazing, but that's uh, I mean, that's behind a paywall and it's too costly, cannot afford it. Uh, that uh, Immobile striker card looks really good as well. And uh, that's one card I would suggest in my opinion, because uh, I mean, especially with the chemistry, and a lot of Italian league cards have been really good recently. So yeah. By the time the next uh, team of the week is out, I guess, uh, which is in a few more hours, I guess, uh, another day and by then we will get a lot more uh, news about what's going to come and all. The Champions League event should come and then the player of the month and SBZs should come as well. And guys, when you claim players in these events, always check if you are claiming the premium one or the normal one. Most likely we get the normal one only. The normal one is not worth too much, but the premium one is often worth uh, double and all. So that's one thing to see. Can we pull the premium one? And unfortunately, not the premium one. It's, it's a normal one. The premium one is like uh, worth about 32 million coins and the normal one is worth like uh, 16 or 17. But yeah, that's, uh, that's the thing happens. Okay, 97 rated. He's the only center back. Uh, I might even buy him back if I can afford him in my uh, chem with 270 chemistry. Like I said, a lot depends on the icons and all that's coming. Okay, no, okay, we have to care for the bid price actually, not the buy now price. Okay, so there's one for 17.9 and one for 18.8. So we'll have to sell somewhere like 17.3, I guess. Okay, I'm going to just uh, sell him for 17.3 and I'm hoping to buy him back uh, later if I can afford him with the chemistry changes and all. If you guys pull the animated one that's uh, worth about 30-33 million coins and even some of the other cards are uh, kind of nice. For praise that uh, Italian one seem best uh, in my opinion. He seems to be around like 30 million coins and even some of the 93s are very good like Martial looks good, Inaki Williams looks good. Even uh, from the rest of the world, the deep bridge looks good. I've seen him uh, in a few top teams and he looks pretty good as well. Again, like I said, we have to think about consolidation of uh, skill views and all that stuff. Guys, uh, see you later.